Victims who have come forward have described our suspect as anything from boring to nondescript. I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was hiding something the way he keeps to himself, pretending he doesn't enjoy our company. But I always thought if Willie was a criminal, he'd be one of those quiet sniper types. The state of Florida is offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to his capture. Do you really think it's Willie? Well, add up the clues. Look at the guy. Same weak chin, same high forehead, same slopey eyes. <laughs> Apparently, some women found it a noble chin, a classic forehead, and bedroom eyes. What are you starting to fall for him? No, honey. However, if he is the man they're looking for, he must have something women want. And maybe if you asked Willie nicely, he'd show you what it is. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, it wouldn't hurt for you to learn something about romancing the opposite sex. I'm already married. Why bother? You're such a lug. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, maybe this lug is just going to call that 800 number and claim his $10,000 reward. Willie Tanner, or whoever he is this week, is our friend. He has never done anything to us, and particularly to me. <laughs> and until he does, we're going to leave him alone. If you have any information on our suspect, we ask that you not confront him directly. Warning a suspect will likely put him back on the run. Next week, I can't believe it! Virginia, My Willie! Bonnie's a stud! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what if Willie is this guy? Do I turn him in? Or hide him? The high road or the low road? Oh, why can't things ever be black or white? Hi, Al. What you watching? Uh, nothing that had to do with your father, if that's what you're implying. Okay. But since you brought it up, how is your father? I guess he's fine. You have any brothers or sisters you don't know about? Al, have you been hitting the catnip again? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just want to know, how long have you known your cat? Dad! Dad! <laughs> All my life, I guess. Is that right? What about when you were between the ages of, say, zero and three? Those years were pretty much a blur. Aha! So it's possible he may have gone on side trips to a place called Tallahassee, for instance. Lynn's here. Can I go now? Yeah, nice drawing with you. What's with him? Beats me. He's been acting really weird lately. Hey, Lynn, hmm? has your father ever left for long periods of time, then come back with less energy, pockets full of money, and a big smile on his face? Why didn't I go away to college? <laughs> Catching a few Z's? Not at the moment. Oh, well, since you're having trouble sleeping, have you ever thought about changing your appearance? No, I haven't. Go away. <laughs> Alf. Yeah? Why did you just put a wig on my head? Pretty natural, huh? Why are you doing this to me? You know what they say, Willie? It's the wig that makes the man. I'm not wearing a wig. Certainly not that one. OK, then perhaps these glasses would enhance your already ruggedly handsome face. Alf! All right, then, try these. You know what they say about men with big ears? What, what are you doing with all this stuff? Well, you want to look dapper for that cruise, don't you? Cruise? Yes, Willie Tanner. You have won a luxury cruise to the Bahamas. A cruise? You mean you won a radio contest or something? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't include airfare, meals, gratuities, or the actual cruise itself. Go out the back way. 
The only place I'm going is to take a nap. Good, then wear the ears. You'll sleep better. Hello? Willie? Uh, no. Willie doesn't live here anymore. He's, uh, he's in the Bahamas diving for spare change. Hey, he's following his dream. Run. Who were you just talking to? Uh, no one. I know what you were doing. You were checking up on Willie, weren't you? So what if I was? Trevor, you leave that man alone. Did he ask about me? No. He disguised his voice and said he moved to the Bahamas. Raquel, the guy's guilty of sin. Well, then that means that he's guilty of... Ooh. That does it. What are you doing? You are not turning him in. Be strong, Raquel. Don't give in to your urges. You never have in the past. Then I refuse to be a party to this. The man committed a crime. We can't ignore our civic duty. And don't ask me to compromise my morals. Hello, Crime Stoppers? I hope you're ready to cough up ten grand. 